Good evening. A sheriff's department employee already charged with burning his stepson on a stove is now accused of trying to get the boy to claim it was an accident. And while the accused employee sits in jail, the county continues to pay him. Here's News 13's Maria Medina. And Dick, when the charges were first made in January of 2009, Lawrence Larry Carrasco was a community service aide for the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office. He was put on paid leave and remained on leave for almost a year and a half until this June. Now he's using up his vacation hours and still collecting checks. He's a pathological liar. Lisa Tarocco insists the allegations against her clients, Larry Carrasco and his wife, Lisa Garcia, are false. He makes up all kinds of lies to get back at his parents. I'm furious. But investigators say Carrasco's now 17-year-old stepson is far from lying. During a recent camping trip, he allegedly asked the, the child victim um, to say that he had accidentally fallen on a camping, camping stove instead of being intentionally burned at the kitchen stove at home. Investigators say for discipline, Carrasco burned his stepson on a stove at home six years ago. But on a camping trip in March, Carrasco and the boy's mother allegedly pointed to a portable stove and told the victim to say he'd burned himself accidentally on it. Detectives say the boy claimed his stepfather told him to change his story to help him out because his sister needed a father. Yesterday, investigators arrested Carrasco, a man once trusted as a community service aide for the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office, on charges of intimidating a witness and bribery. They also arrested the victim's mother, Garcia, on the same charges. Today, they faced a judge. I'm outraged. I'm Absolutely outraged. Tarocco says the real victims in this case are her clients, Carrasco and his wife. And the kid has made very serious allegations against the parents. There's nothing to back it up. I, I feel sorry for them. I really do. Now, even though Carrasco's attorney says the victim is lying, investigators say they found evidence at his parents' home that support the allegations. Dick. All right, Maria Carrasco was scheduled to go on trial next week on the child abuse charge, but he recently decided to take a plea deal instead. He is due in court on that at the end of this month. Carrasco's vacation pay runs out on August the 16th.